Hello everyone. In this episode, I'm going to explain how you can add a circular cutout around your webcam, much like I do in these situations here. It's not quite the same as cropping the webcam. There's some kind of a soft border thing going on on the outside, and I'll explain how that works in OBS. Last time we just added a regular crop with the filter, and today we're going to use something very similar. We're going to actually need an icon before we get going from my website. There's a link in the description to this article here, which is called Creating a Round Cutout Mask for OBS Studio. And I've written that last year, and it kind of illustrates what we're trying to do here. We're going to recreate this. I'm mainly explaining how you can do this yourself in Photoshop, but there's also this image down here, which is in fact the ready-made mask, and we can just go and use that. So go ahead to that article, right-click on that image, and go save as. The size of the circle, it doesn't really matter where on the image that is, we're going to adjust that in a moment. So let's go and save that. I might just put mine on there. Well, actually, there we go. There, I'm going to put that in my downloads folder. Overwrite that because I already have a copy of that. Once you've done that, head back to OBS, in which I've already got my kind of background scene set up here. So imagine this is the thing I'm presenting, and on top of that, I'm going to add a webcam. Now, traditionally, I would go ahead and just add myself another source over here, like a video capture device for your webcam. Or in my case, that was kind of an image media source, like a fake thing. I'm not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. Because if I were to do this, I don't really have the option to go full screen with my webcam. So what I'd like to do is have a situation in which I can go full screen as well as go to the cutout version. So if I were to add the source over here, like a webcam source, and then crop that source, no matter which other scene I'm going to add this source to, it'll always be cropped. And we don't really want that. We want this cropped and uncropped because we want to be flexible. We're creative, so God's sake. There we go. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go and add a new scene to our collection here, a scene to which we're not actually going to cut to directly. I mean, we can, but we don't have to. We, we could. Like, it's up to you. Anyway, let's add a new scene here, and I'm going to call this one Cutout Cam. There we go. You can call it anything you like, but I just like to know what this is. And this is kind of an intermediary scene that I'm just going to set up here. It's black by default. And into this scene, I'm going to go and add my webcam now. So in your case, that's probably going to be a video capture device. I'm already using mine, so I can't use it in two instances of OBS. So I'm going to use a media source instead, which I'm going to call webcam just so that you know we have kind of a fake webcam going like I did last time. And in it, I'm going to go and pick myself a webcam thing I've recorded earlier, which is called J Fake Webcam. I'll make that loop. And so it's almost like having another webcam, you know, almost like having another person in the room. So with this webcam footage, usually what I would do is I would go and resize this, but I'm not going to do that here either. I'm going to leave it full screen as it is. And instead of applying a filter over here, I'm going to go and I'm going to apply my filter over here on the scene directly. So not on the source, I'm going to apply my filter on the scene. And the filter I'm going to apply by right clicking on the particular scene. I'm going to add filters and I'm going to say, whoops, I'm going to add myself with a little plus icon here, an image mask blend filter. And that's something really exciting because we can then give that the image that we've just downloaded. So, ha -ha. Let's make it happen. Image mask blend. You can call it anything you like. I will call it that. And in it here, we have uh, several options under the, the kind of type of the thing we're going to apply here. I'm not going to use a color channel. I will use an alpha channel because that is what my image contains. Select the alpha channel, select the path to the image that we've just downloaded. So mine is just under downloads here. Open that up. And there we go. That is now a soft round cutout around my image, which is nice. It's not perfect, but we're going to talk about the placement in a moment. So let's go ahead and close this now. And that'll that's a, you know that's a good start on my cutout. Now the mask that is applied is in fact applied on 
the scene. So now I can go ahead back to my white shot and add this scene to as a source to the setup for my white shot so that I can now go and blend that image in there. Let me show you what I mean. I'll go ahead and click plus here, pick a scene source, very exciting, and pick the scene that I've just created there. So in my case, that's called the cutout cam. So I'll go and select it because it already exists here. And then I'll go and add it. Aha, that is exciting. With the cutout cam selected, I can now go ahead and move that. I can make the whole thing bigger or smaller. I might actually lock the scene underneath it so that I don't accidentally grab it. So I can now go ahead and use these little red handles here to make my webcam a bit smaller and position that to wherever I want this to be. So that's a good start. The puzzle hasn't quite finished yet. Uh, the advantage of this approach is that I, if I were to, if I wanted to cut back as a full screen webcam now to greet my viewers, I can do that by just creating another scene down here. I'm sure you know how it works now. And I'm going to call that full screen cam, just so that we know what that is. Add that here. In this scene, I can now go ahead and use the actual webcam source. So basically the same source that we used in the cutout cam, I'm going to use the same source here. So in, my, in your case, it'll be like a video capture device. In my case, it's a media source, which is called webcam. And if I do it this way, I can switch back and forth between a full screen webcam and, whoops, and a circular cutout a thing that presents my desktop as well as that. So I can go back and forth between these two things and I've got the best of both worlds there, the full screen webcam and the cutout circular webcam. That's a great, great start. Now, finishing touches. Let's have a look at cropping more of my image away. So I don't really want to see all that upper body here. Maybe I don't want to see my microphone. It's more important to just zoom in a little bit more there. And you know, you might not be exactly in the middle of the webcam. You might be slightly off center and would you have to create a new mask for that in Photoshop? No, you don't have to do that. You can still use the same image. And we go back for that. We go back to my cutout cam scene here. And because the filter is applied to the scene, I can now go ahead and select my webcam, the source webcam thing. And now I can go and just literally resize my webcam, resize, reposition. I think I might just go make that a bit smaller, but sorry, a bit bigger here. It takes a little bit of playing around with, and then I can just go position that exactly where that needs to be. So if your webcam image is slightly off center, you just literally move it wherever you want the cutout to be. And because we're applying all this on the scene, we're not actually touching however that's composed on the white shot, which is, you know, it looks like this. There we go. Who's that handsome devil? Awesome stuff. So yes, that is how you do that. That's the magic behind it. Set up a separate scene with a cutout cam, then apply the filter on that scene and then resize the webcam that's inside that source. And then to put that onto the actual composite composited shot, I suppose, is that, is that the word? Is that how you say that? You then add a source with the type of scene to your stack. There we go. You're looking more handsome every day and your presentations are going to be stunning going forward if you follow these little tips and tricks from OBS. I have a whole series on OBS on my channel. The link in the description of this video. If you like this presentation and this whole video, then please share it with friends, family and total strangers. Let's collectively improve the content that we have on YouTube. If you'd like to say thanks, there's a lot of donation links in the description of my video. Drop something in my tip jar if you like. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.